So Prosecutor Alvin Bragg's key witness, the person who had no knowledge of any of the details of the alleged crimes in the sham New York Trump trial, Stormy Daniels went under cross-examination today in court. And it seems as though Donald Trump's team may have effectively removed her credibility almost entirely. From Fox News, Stormy Daniels' salacious affair story keeps changing because encounter never happened, Trump team claims. Trump defense attorney Susan Neschels uh, says Stormy Daniels made it up. It seems that way. Like I said before, it kind of reads like the script for the kinds of movies she would have starred in. Uh, Trump's defense attorneys on Thursday said Stormy Daniels' story about an alleged sexual encounter with the former president keeps changing because the affair never happened. Defense attorney former President Trump Susan Nashels led the continued cross-examination of Daniels Thursday after her hours-long testimony on Tuesday that prompted the Trump team to motion for a mistrial, calling it unnecessary and prejudicial. The judge denied the motion. Nashels, uh during... Uh, questioning pointed to a statement Daniel signed in 2018 denying an encounter with Trump ever took place. Daniel said she did not write the statement, but signed it. Okay. You can have your lawyer draft a statement and then sign it saying that that is effectively what you're saying. Either way, that's irrelevant. She made the statement. Whether she wrote it herself or had someone else do it for her, by signing it, she made that statement. Nettles pointed to another statement where Daniels denied having a sexual relationship with Trump. In part, the statement, statement reads, I'm denying this affair because it never happened. Daniels claimed ex-Trump attorney Michael Cohen was pushing for her to sign this statement. But she didn't have to. She did not have to sign the statement. If she said it, was she lying then or is she lying now? And if she was lying at either time, can she be believed at all? Daniels denied ever requesting money from Trump. Then why did she take money? Facing pressure from Neshels, Daniels added, I never asked for money from anyone in particular. I asked for money for telling my story. I was asking for money from publications to sell my story to get the truth out. Ah, yes, because the truth is only important when you are getting paid. Uh, Daniels admitted to selling the story for nearly a million dollars when she agreed to write her book, Full Disclosure, for $800,000, but she claimed she did not receive all that money. Uh, when asked about the book, Daniels said she detailed her life for readers beginning at uh, the age of two, but said she assumed people would read about Trump first. So that's the story that you were trying to sell. When asked for specific details about the encounter, the alleged encounter in 2006 on the sidelines of a celebrity golf tournament in Lake Tahoe, Daniels appeared to tell a different story in court than when she first spoke about the incident or in her book. It's almost like it's being made up for profit. You told In Touch a completely different story, Neshel said when Daniels denied adding there were just parts in the middle I didn't remember. Really? Really? Are you sure? Because if it was a traumatic experience, which maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, you would think that you would remember those details. Daniel said In Touch um, left out a lot of stuff because they couldn't fact check it. And yet the court is taking it as fact. The In Touch story was written in 2011, but it wasn't published until after the 2016 election. You made it up, Neshel said. Daniels respond, or replied, no. Daniels went on to discuss the bedroom when the, or where the alleged encounter took place, saying it was far away from the front door and saying that she couldn't leave the room because Trump's bodyguard was allegedly outside the door. I'm pretty sure a bodyguard would have let her out. But Nashels reminded her that in yet another interview with Vogue magazine, Daniels was quoted as saying there were no threats during the alleged encounter and she asserted nothing was holding her in the room. Nashels went on to ask Daniels if she knew or understood why Trump was indicted in Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's case, in which she said no and added uh, that he was indicted for a lot of things. Nashels declared that Daniels' story has changed so many times because she never had an affair with Trump but wanted to earn money under redirect questioning from prosecutor Sarah uh, Hoffinger. Daniels testified that she entered the non-disclosure agreement, which took the $130,000 hush money payment for her own safety after she testified Tuesday that she wanted to make money by selling her story about Trump. So was it for her safety or to make money? Was she really in danger? Because I'm pretty sure Donald Trump is not Hillary Clinton. She added, we're all happy to take the money. It's just a bonus. Um... Hoffinger also asked if fear was a reason Daniels entered into the NDA and hiding in plain view. Daniels said an attorney friend of hers told her that if you're out in the open, you're safer. Really? Really? 
You, you really think that Donald Trump is the kind of person to off people. He's not a Democrat, and he's under the most intense microscope of any human being in the history of the American legal system. You really think if he was bumping people off, he would have gotten away with that? If he was the kind of people to bump or person to bump people off, he would have gotten away with that? Daniel said an attorney friend, oh, I read that one already. Daniel sued Trump in 2018, claiming the non-disclosure agreement she signed wasn't valid because it lacks Trump's signature. Uh, Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 counts, blah, 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 blah. From Breitbart News, uh, defense paints picture that Stormy Daniels tried to get rich, rich off of Trump. Former President Donald Trump's defense on a Thursday seemingly worked to paint the picture that the actress... Actress Stormy Daniels attempted to financially benefit from his wealth and fame, according to reports. Daily Caller uh, Courts reporter Caitlin Richardson noted that during the uh, defense cross-examination of the star, uh, who nearly blew the trial for the prosecution on Tuesday, uh, Trump attorney Susan Nashels was pushing to show Daniels was motivated by money when she entered into her 2016 NDA. She suggested Daniels stopped talking to a Slate reporter interested in the story because she wanted to be paid, while Daniels emphasized during her questioning that she was not compensated for an interview with CNN's Anderson Cooper in 2018. Nashels said the porn star la uh, landed a nearly seven-figure book deal after the interview, according to Richardson. And basically, the rest of this rehashes what we read in the Fox article. It really does appear that she's making the whole thing up to be rich and famous. Although, you know, I could be wrong. I've been wrong about many things before. Either way, it's entirely irrelevant to the case being tried in that courtroom. She is an entirely giant waste of time that may hopefully tank the prosecution's case because there is no crime there. The indictments don't matter because they're not true. What he did was not a crime. Period. Let me know what you think in the comments, then head over to my Locals page, thearthurnix.locals.com, for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.